Hello, hello, hey, hey, hey. I'm so glad y'all are here again. Yes, it's still it's evening. It's dark now. But y'all, do you remember I had to run to the store to get the new tripod? The thing was listen, it was on his last leg, okay? Okay, say so lady, lady, say hi to you. Come on in here. Fellow watchers, 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 watchers. Yes, you are holy watchers if you bear this mark. Okay, so we're going to get into it. We're going to do it, do it, do it, do it. You know how we do. We know how we do. I got something to tell you, y'all. I got something to tell you. Let me tell you something. So <laughs> that's my signature thing. Okay, so, all right. So I get back from the store, and I found the tripod I was looking for. This thing, let me tell y'all, let me tell you. Let me tell you, this thing is lovely. You can see the glow and everything. Like I love the filters. I ain't going to front. I do use filters up on here. I'm almost 60 years old. I ain't trying to be sit up here doing all this glamour stuff. I only put a lot of makeup and stuff on when I have to go up on stage. So other than that, hey, listen, <laughs> I ain't the one. I got to save my skin. I'm into holistic stuff and keeping my stuff, you know, clean. But, you know, eating right and all that stuff. And you, you Listen, all this stuff ain't healthy for you. But I know how much y'all love it. And I sure do love looking looking nice for for people, or whatever you know, I got got to make sure y'all see what's going on. You know, I'm like Marvin Gaye. I want to know what's going on too. <laughs> so y'all doing all this stuff, and then you know, some of us grown ups, we getting hip to it. Don't they? Listen, we ain't gonna shrivel up and die yet. We still got some life left in us. What's some of this? I saw somebody's song came on here. Some kid, I think it was not really rap, but the song says something like in the beginning to a beat. Boy, don't you know you? What's your mama doing on TikTok looking all good and stuff? And I was like, ooh, who made a song like that? Oh, my goodness. I hate, listen, when my stuff be shining sometimes on the internet, when my music and stuff, it gets back to my son. And he'd be like, Ma, what you doing? Y'all you know, can't be all over the internet. Don't t listen to anybody can tell me what to do. You can tell me what to do. I'm a grown woman. And listen, it's, I'm, t I'm telling you, it don't matter if it's your kid, your brothers, your sisters, whoever, family. If a problem, somebody got a problem with your shine, or they get a little worried, like, you know, people coming up to them, just, hey, yo, that, is that, that's your mom, she, whatever your mama was. So, listen, I, <laughs> I'm still going to be me. This me is me. You do you, boo. I'm going to do me, okay? It's all gravy. Still love you. Love you, all of you. But look, you're going to let me shine like I shine. All right, so I got to put up my glasses, and y'all go see the rings all up in here, that new ring, the ring light. It's cool, though. I do love it because I can read good. And you won't have me all see me squinting and stuff, talking about I can't read my own writing because... When the word comes through to me, let me tell you something. When the word comes through, I start scribbling because I got to write. It's just coming through. You know, the messages are coming through, and I'm scribbling really fast to get it down. So sometimes I go back in my own writing, and I'd be like, oh, that's what that word is. You know, when you get older, some, you know, but it's not even that. My writing always has been more about cursive writing than uh, grammar, spelling, or whatever you call I don't even like calling that them that terms because... You know, curse, writing, or spell, you know. So anyway, we know what's going on. We know what's going on. So anyway, yeah, this thing comes with this remote. It got a remote control to, that controls the camera. I have to read all about that, see what that effect does. But it's something with Bluetooth, and it can control your phone and the camera. Listen, I ain't nothing to it but me pushing butts. So I don't know if I want to mess with that. But this controls the lighting, and it makes it so it's bright or dim or whatever. So anyway... This is great because I got my material in front. I can see it nice and clearly under the light and I can read it. So no problem. So anyway, I was, I was being pushed to tell y'all about the gifts. God, God has blessed me with some gifts now as, in, in, um, in response. You know, it's, it's his way of saying, showing me a little appreciation. But at the same time, the gifts he's sending me is for this project. It's for this mission that we're all on. The equipment that I said I have to get, he made it possible so I'm able to get this stuff. So some stuff is coming on the way in the mail, a big old PA system and stuff we're going to be working with and a new microphone and something else. But, you know, yeah, the gifts are coming. The gifts are coming. So he said, make sure you tell them about the gifts and they're coming in the mail. And, um, yeah, um, 
I didn't, wouldn't have thought three months ago that this stuff was going down. But, you know, he's telling me, get this, get that, do this. We're going to get it done. And you're going to be doing all this. And it, I'm telling you, three months ago, two, three months ago, I did not see myself into this. I'm saying that to say this. The views and all that are blowing up. I got people DMing me and asking me questions, and I love it. I love all the feedback and the response and stuff. I'm just hoping y'all understand. I may not be able to answer everything. I ain't no perfect person just like you. But not only that, I mean, so many are coming in now, hundreds of messages, messages. So I may not always be able to get back to you. But every day I do scroll through and try to address at least between 1 to 10 knowing me. And then I will do my best to get back to you. And I'm trying to recognize you. So if I don't always shout y'all out, it's it's not that I don't care. It's that it's busy and I'm doing all this stuff. But I try to, when I catch a glimpse of you, I write down your name and I try to be sure. I write next to it something about who you are and, and what it was what we talked about. And then I address it. And so we're going to do it that way and see how that goes. Huh? Does that sound good to you? Sounds good to me. So let's try it that way. Okay. So let's get into, we, we were finishing up about horoscope. But before I do that, I wanted to tell you this. The shirt I was wearing earlier, this, I had the sweatshirt on when I went out. It's so freezing, but I get hot. You know, I get hot fast. Like, I don't know why. I'm just, I don't know. I just, I get hot sometimes. I'm not menopausal. That's that time is do done and over with. But anyway, so this shirt I was wearing earlier, I wanted to let y'all know. It says, uh, Yousef, Kevin, Antron, and Corey. And this shirt, and, and Raymond, see, and on the sleeve, it, it's the name of his company. Um, this is from that movie, When They See Us, that's on, it's a series on Netflix about them boys that were wrongly convicted of the Central Park Five crime of, you know, grapey with that woman in Central Park back in the 80s. Listen, you, I told you I was all up in New York with stuff and all that going on. I know, we know that. We knew them boys was innocent. Now, I'm not trying to get in a debate with nobody. You watched it, you didn't watch it, you, you followed the case. I followed the case. Those kids, babies, when all that stuff happened, they was little babies, they was kids. And just, you watch the series on Netflix, but not even just that. If you even, there was other movies made about it. Those poor kids, what they went through, especially Corey. What they did to Corey was terrible. So anyway, yeah, I got in touch with Raymond, who's on, um, what's that site? He's on uh, Instagram. and We're friends on Instagram. We don't talk that much. But yeah, he posts a lot of stuff. It's, his cl cl clothing company is called Park Madison. So you could look up Park Madison. And, you know, because I support him, care about him, because even though they got a settlement back after all that happened, they had to split it. It was $41 million or something. They had to split it among each other and they had to pay back uh, court expenses and all this other mess. So they all did not come out from that with a lot of money. So, you know, they got to do what they got to do, you know? So he got his own clothing line with these shirts and some stuff. And I bought the t-shirt and support for them because watching that series, it broke my heart what happened to those boys, especially Corey. So yeah, if you ever get a chance and you want to see something and, and, and you know, if you're, if you like things, well, not just like, but you have the empathy part in you that you care about certain things like that. The innocence project is a deep thing to look into. And yeah, the innocence project helped them to get free today. So I'm glad they're home. We love you. Central Park five. Ah, so anyway, that's if they even see this. I don't know. Okay, so um, then horoscopes, the last thing I had to say was that book I was telling y'all about with Jean Dixon. Um, yeah, I got all into that, and it does align with the Bible and stuff, kind of like the things I was telling you. But I personally messed up messing with that book because back then I was young, and I was so... It, I was so I knew that if I started messing with them cards, I would be able to show those signs. I wanted my sh signs and symptoms of being, you know, gifted the way I'm, I am. To I wanted it to shine so much that I could really see. I wanted to be able to people walk in the room. I wanted to be that kind of psychic, like, you know, yeah, you this, this, this. So I wanted to see what it was like to do it. So I tried it because I went in Spencer's one year, that store that sells all them goofy cards and funny stuff, swearing and, you know, a little gro you know, just... Uh, you know, ratchet type stuff, but it had a, a set of tarot cards sitting in the store. This was back in the early uh, 2010s. So I picked up the cards and I figured them out and I started doing it. And it was like, 
something was speaking through me, making me do it. And it was, if it didn't feel right, I told y'all what happened with that, but yeah, you don't want to mess with that stuff. You know, I told you what I had to do to get out of it. Anyway, time is almost up, but I just had to let y'all know about the light and now I'm getting ready to retire for the evening. So I hope y'all like this. And tomorrow, I don't know. They wake me up and throw some more at me. I'm got you. I love you. And